This video explains how to change the names and labels of a table object in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to create a vector object, as you can see in line two of the code. So after running this line of code, a new vector object called X is appearing at the top right. And we can print this vector object to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line three of the code. And then you can see that our vector contains different letters. Now let's assume that we want to create a table object based on this vector object. Then we can apply the table function to our vector, as you can see in line five of the code. And in this line of code, I'm assigning the table function output to a new table object that I'm calling my tab. So after running line five of the code, this new table object is appearing at the top right. And we can print our table to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line six of the code. And then you can see that we have created a frequency table which tells us which of the letters in our vector object X contain how often. So for instance, the letter A is appearing only once and the letter B is appearing three times. Now let's assume that we want to change the labels. So the letters A, B, C, D and E of our table. Then we can apply the code that you can see in lines eight to 10. So in line eight, I'm duplicating our table object because I also want to keep an original version of our table. So after running this line of code, a new table called my tab new one is created. And then in the next step, we can use the names function to extract the names from our table. And then we can use the paste zero function to assign new labels to our table. So after running line nine of the code, our table is updated and we can see that by running line 10 of the code. And then you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that we have changed the labels of our table object to call one, call two, call three, call four and call five. You can also see that at this point, our table does not contain any row names. And we can do that as you can see in the next step in lines 12 to 14. So as a first step, I'm using the T function to create a new table object, as you can see in line 12 of the code. And then I'm using the row names function to assign a certain row name to our table row. So after running line 13 of the code, our new table is updated. And you can see that by running line 14 of the code. And as you can see now our table contains our new column names, call one to call five, as well as a new row name, in this case, row one. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.